Hello, you're listening to Abstract AF. I'm Sneha Jaswal, and I'm going to be reviewing the three issue comic series called The Closet, which is a horror comic series about a four year old boy who sees a monster in his room every night, but his parents are too busy fighting to take his fears seriously. Written by James Tinian Four, with some really good dark themed illustrations by Chris O'Halloran, issue one just about sets the story for the readers. Tom is largely the protagonist in the issue. He's a married man who is preparing himself to move cross country with his wife and little son Jamie, the boy who sees a monster in the closet. It's hinted that Tom has done something terrible in the past, and because of which his wife and him don't get along too well, so they hope that moving cities would give them a fresh start. But issue two, we discover that this monster keeps following little Jamie everywhere. The Closet isn't really an out-and-out horror story. It's It ends up being this psychological, symbolic tale about how fraught marriages can really affect a child. And I think James Tinian Four and Chris O'Halloran, the creators of this comic series, do a pretty good job at that. Although I do feel like some more story would have helped, it's largely Tom just bitching about his wife and his situation, so it can become extremely tedious and repetitive for readers. I feel like Tom's wife is completely sidelined. She's just this side character who never gets to tell her side of the story. Tom makes a very good representation of all those adults who think that Getting a new job or getting a new house, moving away to a new city would resolve all your problems that you get to make a fresh start just because you have moved to a new city. So when his wife is offered a new job, he's like, all right, let's take it. And maybe the problems between us would go away and Jamie's monster would also disappear. The artwork complements the story and theme very well. All in dark tones, you see a lot of blacks and a lot of dark greens and and you have a lot of these orange lights during the nighttime indoors, which gives it a certain nostalgic touch, making it very retro in mood. I did kind of like this comic series. I feel like it had a lot more potential plot-wise and could have been so much better. It's a three on five overall from me for all these three issues combined. That's all from me. Talk to you the next time.